TCU won the toss deferred, so Texas will receive it to start. Dijon Robinson is the deep man for Longhorns, and he'll bring it out of the end zone. Robinson, oh, and he is chopped down. Offside. Ten touchdowns. Kicking team number six. Five-yard penalty. 37-34 loss in Fort Worth last week to Iowa State. Robinson, will he get a shot at it? Yes, from inside the five. Dijon Robinson on his feet down the sideline. Dijon Robinson, can he get there? Short up. There are two fouls on the play, one on each team. Offside, kicking team number 19, holding, receiving team number 28. Those penalties offset will re kick. Oh, my country. There's. Boy, the 30 is the, is the line here, and they were just over it. Boy, that was off. Here we go. This one a line drive short. Bobble picked up. Roshan Johnson breaking tackles, and... And if he does that, I think he's primed for a monster season. Through four picks in the loss to TCU last season. Ellinger throwing on first down underneath nicely. They're missing Colin Johnson from a year ago, so you got to establish the leader on the outside. On second down, Ellinger in trouble, doing, and he'll just throw this into... Down and 10 at the 33, empty backfield for Sam Ellinger. Out of the shotgun. Elliger with time off his back foot underneath. Son of Rick Spielman and his wife Michelle Spielman, their brother, our colleague Chris Spielman, the Ohio State legend. JD with an opportunity, nice spin, gets to the 20, bounces it outside with room and tiptoes on first down from the 41. He'll throw it on first down out wide and he has his man Dylan Thomas. And did it down to two at the 49 for Duggan. Getting the start today. He'll pull it down. He can run really well. Duggan slides at the four. Check out his ability to improvise here. As he sees right there, he's going to have that little screen pass block. So he just tucks it and gets right back. Downs against the long ones. Making his 11th career start. First and 10 at the 42. Opening series for TCU. And they'll hand it off. Last year because of all the injuries, so they're experienced in the back end, and he feels like they're going to tackle much better today. Second down and six at the 38-yard line. Duggan. Hit as he throws and in from for Texas. A nice little stunt here, and it gets right up into the face. That's number 49, Taquan Graham. They said he's got a chance to be a great one. You see how he's facing a third and six at the 38. Texas showing blitz. Start that blitz. Offense number 24. Five yard penalty remains third down. Wow, they got the just the see that? Oh my goodness. Mitchell was bailed out because dark. Wired to the running back false starting. We had offsides defense with contact. The five yard penalty. Throw third down. I see. I totally disagree with this. Watch, watch the movement. See, the, the swaying is happening way before he's in the neutral zone. It's not a penalty from Mitchell that remains in the game. They're going to run it right behind Barlow. Look at the first down, and he will not get it. Terrific backer spot, and he's able to get Duggan, who just never gets going because that offensive line didn't get much. Remember, he's got great wheels. Delay. Prior to the snap, delay a game. Offense, five yard penalty. But the center is not on the same page, and they get moved back. So Jordy Sandy pops it in the personal foul, hands to the face, receiving team number 15. From Gary Patterson. First down and 10 for the Longhorns. Mathis on one side, number 32, and then Coleman on the other, number 11. Ball start. Offense number 26. And Second down and 15 at the one. In Offside. Austin. Defense with contact number 98. Three five yards, Gus, is huge like it is here. Second down and 10. At the six for Texas. And a hand it off. He to Ingram with running room and he pulled us. Third down and five at the 11. 
Hey, Leo 20, Leo 20, Leo 20. Here we go. Go ahead, go. Ellinger drops it off. Wide open receiver. Ingram out of the backfield with room. Stutter step stiff arm. Still on the move and finally. Opportunity here for TCU. They've got third down, and sure enough, they blow the coverage. They let F side. Offense number 80. He was covered up on the line of scrimmage and went down on the forward pass. Sam Ellinger. In trouble, wants to run it. Looking for room and there with that big play and just lined up poorly. Ryan Buchevsky, the junior, about five yards deep in his own end zone. J.D. Spielman, the return man, standing at his own 46. Delay a game, offense. Buczewski sends it away. Spielman backs it up, bobbles it. Now turns the corner, another flag on the play. Spielman finally tracks. Illegal block in the back. Number zero of the return team. The 10-yard penalty. If TCU can capitalize. First down at the 33 for the Horned Frogs. And they'll hand it off on first down. Barlow hits the edge. And that we're seeing early. Gain of 12. Duggan drops it off. It's caught, but tackle in space. Really sure tackle as well. Second down and nine at the 46. Option. Trick play. Barber. Can he get around the corner? Yes, he can. And Barber. 46. Barlow breaks through the hole. Barlow's been getting a lot of work here in the first quarter. They give it to him again. And he jitterbugged six at the 35. And it's Barber on the reverse, and this time Mitchell, Joseph Osai right on the spot. Yeah, Juwan Mitchell reads this perfectly, and then he gets right into the backfield. Great 36, they need to get inside the Texas 30-yard line for first down around the 29 and a half. Duggan in the shotgun. High snap, handle with one hand by Duggan. Hit as he throws it. Because he was getting all sorts of pressure. How about this catch? Was he in? It looks like he was high and had to get rid of that ball immediately. Gain of nine. First down, TCU. Duggan. Screen. Here we go. Foster with room. Breaks it back and is. Go! And Duggan keeps it. Duggan for the end zone. Dive. Is a touchdown. There is no foul for holding. Did he get in is the question. No. Here's 74 working against Overshone. Watch as he grabs him all the way around and holds him as Duggan runs right half yard short of that pylon. In the backfield with Max Duggan. Play fake. Duggan drops it off. Duggan hands it off. And Barlow, did he get in? Nice second effort here. A little bit of a missed tackle there from Mitchell. And then as he's contacted, he just presses forward. And with that left knee off the turf, leans over. Peoria League right there in Peoria, Phoenix. Play the game in Fort Wayne. Cool. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Ingram, Roshan Johnson in the backfield. Ellinger running it. And Ellinger, the Longhorns were able to do that. Second down and five at the 30. Ellinger, quarterback, keeper again as he picks his way forward. A lot of attention. Offense number 78. As he's coming around right here, and he gets that block and then kind of wraps around and, and goes. Ellinger looks to his left, delivers to the sideline, incomplete. Horns, and now a, a huge third and long. Third down and 15 at the 20. Ellinger, low snap handle with time, delivers down the sideline. Oh, what a catch, Jake. Pass interference. Offense number seven. He's right there, and now he's on the outside working against Noah Daniels. There's some hand fighting right there, and. Ellinger over the middle. Caught. Wiley 
first down. Hits the sideline. And Jared Watt. Giant conversion. That's a gain of 52. Ellinger, pump fake. Looking, surveying. Locks it. In. To drop this in, and he's able to do it. That is perfectly thrown, and Eagles can't bring it in because Noah Daniels starts. Ruling on the field of an incomplete pass is under further review. I'm in a football move. Here maybe becomes your best look. Little grab there, huh? Uh, so not controlled, not controlled, trying to get control and being ripped away. I, I still say that Texas has had 283 yards of plays called back, including that 96 yard kickoff return. Ellinger, play fake, under pressure. They're down in 10. Ellinger steps up in the pocket. Fires a strike out. So a first down for Texas. Here's Ellinger. Again! Oh, almost in. Pass interference. Defense number 24. Down conversion. Now they get a penalty here and get the ball inside the red zone. Got to convert with points. So first down. Ball at the 16 for UT. Johnson bounces it outside. Nice piece of running in. Second down and one at the seven. First down. Short yardage situations is the perfect ball. Roshan Johnson in the backfield. Ellinger spritz out. Squares his shoulders incomplete. There is no foul for pass interference. So. Ellinger. Underneath. So they're down a running back. And as for Texas, Tyler Owens will not return. He injured his hamstring on that third opening kickoff. <laughs> Demarquay Foster in the backfield. They give it to Foster, who breaks it back, crosses the 25. Up. Second and seven. This for the first start. quarter, it needs to end. Offense number 56. 11. Duggan to throw it on second down, and he's going deep. Duggan, oh, he dropped it in the basket. To Quentin J freshman, but he comes in here with immense talent. Again, the pressure is just to get to Duggan, and it's a huge play for the Horn Frogs. And they wind it up again, and the field Best in a hurry here. Defense number one. Play this calling. play is under further review for the hit on the quarterback. Helmet to helmet, that was Juwan. Looks like he got it right. There was just this contact. See that. Rubles is looking at it and say, okay, you got to confirm all elements of targeting here. And, you know, we do see the lowering of the head and hitting him in the helmet. Certainly can see why Don Capral, the replay official in this game, stopped it. And, you know, we look at it and say it really does. He was attacking and he does make contact to the helmet. So I can certainly see targeting here. Just needs to lower that. After reviewing the play, we have targeting defense number six. First down from the 11 for TCU as we get back to live action. Foster, it's a size that they run a little bit of a QB sneak. Here. Spielman in motion. Here's the quarterback sneak. Parker touchdown TCU. And they try to spread out. So there's all this zone. Uh, too much space for Duggan and he's all he's got to do is just read it and he knows he's going to keep that ball because there's only one defender there he's got a pulling guard in front of him PCU still trying to find a rhythm so far here in this ball game. Kell sends it away Deshaun Jamison is the deep man the start from his own one Jamison with another lane and Jamison great running and the Texas offense Ball placed at the 37. Looks like a busted play as Ellinger just dives. Feel for Sam Ellinger. He'll throw it. Ellinger dumps it underneath for coverage. Here, Gary has gone to three defensive linemen. Looks like he's going to drop eight guys into coverage. Third down and 10 at the 37. And Ellinger winds up. Oh, what a throw! 
And a catch by Jake Smith's outside linebacker. He's just outside, and Ellinger's got to float it just over his head, and he's able to win to the bottom. Here's Ellinger. Steps up in the pocket. Delivers! Caught! Toward the end zone! Touchdown, Longhorns! Brennan Eagles! This is a beautiful route. Watch as Eagles is going to come. He's going to hook up, and then he's going to go deep. Right there, he hooks up, and then he goes deep. Sam Ellinger needs the time, and he gets it. Floats that ball. Great anticipation that are including Big Ten teams and Pac-12 teams, others that are not. So they're very skewed, and we should just wait probably until the 25. For Max Duggan. And they run the reverse. Around the corners. LSU, Texas, Ohio State, SC. To name a few. Duggan over the middle. A nice strike to Jet Rutgers. And now finds himself with Herman again. Duggan drops it off. And he has his tight end, Lynn. Keeping threat. Second and seven at the 46. Duggan looking for the first down, and he has each of the defenses. First and 10 at the 37. Duggan again. And Duggan. A little weight. He could be very good. Weighs 217 right now. And DeMarc Way Foster in the backfield with Duggan. Here's Duggan. Scrambling. And throws it out of play. And they're trying to get Osai open by creating this type of pick play, and they do a beautiful job because Duggan's got to leave the pocket. And... We'll punt it away close to the 50. Jamison is the deep man. And it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. First down and 10 for Texas. And Johnson, the converted quarterback. Nice piece of running move over and he established himself as a really good player and now it finds himself with Ingram out getting the bulk of the carries. Johnson looking to need to hand the ball off. TCU's been ready for it. Ellinger running it now right side and he uses that. It was all run for Texas and TCU has been ready for it. First down. Here's Ellinger. On the move and Jake Smith. And Ellinger's got to know where they're at at all times. Second down and 10 at the 31, and it's Ingram, and he gets belt. Ellinger needs to get to the 41. Winds up the deep ball, incomplete. No flag. Well, I didn't see them signal that they thought it was uncatchable. If they think that this is... So fourth down and 12, Texas will punt. J.D. Spielman... Ready to return. And a timeout, timeout called by the Longhorns. Texas. Against the Red Raiders. Uchevsky. Spielman backpedaling, fields it at the 19. Looking for a crease and will not get it. To... Kendra Miller has checked in at running back for TCU. To him. On first down, remember, Haynes in the game. Here's the reverse. Barber cuts it back and pick. right at the line of scrimmage. He's in right now because Juwan Mitchell was ejected for target. Barber with running room and he'll get to back. They give it to him. And he crosses. Second and seven at the 49. Duggan. It was Missouri with the tackle. So here you're going to get the motion, and then watch as you're going to get a little bit of a flow out of the linebacker. And what does that do? It opens up just a little bit of a seam for the 46. Duggan handing the ball off to Foster. First down. He's holding offense number 56. Start four games. Here he is right here. He tries to work outside. Now he's working. He'll pick them apart. They need 12. Duggan, deep ball's got a receiver. Oh, oh my goodness! Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 46, blow to the head. Aylen Green, 
somehow managed to knock that ball out. He's going for the one-handed play, and there's that blow to the head. It was Osai. Miller and Foster in the backfield. Duggan under pressure, got it away. And the second level here, and this is where it's going to come from Duggan's left, and it's just he gets hit right in the hip. Josh Thompson, number nine, was in on that. Duggan wants to run it. Breaks contain. Duggan looking for the first down, and he will. They hand it off to Miller. First down and more. Miller. Shifty. CU with 250 yards of offense after the six-yard pickup by Miller. Second and four. Duggan drops it off. First down. Barber certainly have. First down and goal. 152 remaining. Miller. And Miller knocked back. Field trips up top. Twins at the bottom. Now Spielman in motion. They give it to him. Here comes a scat back. Tries to break it back. Nothing. And the TCU Horn Frogs. Duggan wants to run it, steps back, reverses, and dump Duggan's face. Watch this. Overshone actually falls down, and then he gets up. He slips right there, and then he gets up, and he finds himself right there for the pressure. And got it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good. Intentionally go down the field. Jamison is the deep man, and he'll take a knee in the end zone to throw it across the middle. First down at the 25. Ellinger. Oh, and it's intercepted by TCU. Van Zandt. He's got blockers up the sideline. And that well, looks like he's going to go across his face right here, but actually turns it back up and goes to the outside right when Ellinger throws. Right there, he goes to the outside, and Van Zandt just steps across his face. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 20 of TCU. Team 14. Duggan finds Barber on the sideline, and he'll get potentially to get those linebackers moving. Max Duggan delivers, and a little down. Five yards to go at the 15. Duggan lost one in the corner, and it could be our field goal. Yes, perfect. Three points, Kevel send it away. Deshaun Jameson is the deep man. And he'll take a knee with 55 into tempo and try to get down the field. But a lot of it depends on this first down snap. And Elliger hands it off. Ingram. So Texas last year, that last series, he throws an interception, and now they're just going to try to play it safe. To run it again with. Of line E. So TCU will get the ball to start the second half. And this would kick out of the end zone for a touchback. Been due to the fact that they haven't been able to solidify the quarterback position, and they seem to have found their guy now with Max Duda. So Miller off first down with the huge athleticism and ability to be a really good player on the interior. See how he's kind of reaching out and then, oh man. Ooh, wow. His own teammate gets him after. A pickup of 15. Miller motions into the backfield. Duggan gives it to him with a big opening. Miller finally up. This block right here, you're going to get the center and the guard, and they're going to just work this double team. And this movement, boom, that movement allows him to get up to the second, get a hat on a hat at the linebacker position, and it's a big run. And Duggan to the sideline, flag on the play. Holding offense number 74. So they're going to get really good rush on the outside, and he's got that right arm wrapped around. Miller, and he'll go nowhere. Tackled for a large splits by those offensive linemen. 
Watch out for that quarterback draw. Mike Leach will be proud. They fire it out to Barber. Well, Duggan taking his time. And they'll run it with Barlow. A 48-yard drive. Just kicked the 48 yarder. We'll kick it off. So Texas will get a shot. And after the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 33 of the receiving team. First down for Ellinger at his own 13. Here's Ellinger to throw it. Underneath, drops it off. Jake Smith. Going game. So, I mean, they're all on the same page. They got to get the run game going if they want to succeed here in the second half. And they run it against this defense to have success. Sam Ellinger. He can run it, and he does. Picks up the first and much more. Ellinger hits the sideline, still on his feet. High step, and look at Sam Ellinger. Up. Great vision. He steps up in the pocket, and then he sees the green grass, and he's absolutely out of there. Steps out of that tackle from Washington. Gains more yardage down the red. Big play for Texas, setting them up here offensively. First down, Ellinger. Looking strong in the pocket. First down, Jake. Sideline interference against the TCU bench. And as the official is trying to run up and spot it, Gary Patterson's walking out on the field and see how he knocked coach in America that, that is further out onto the field on a more consistent basis than Gary Patterson. Here's Ingram on first and second and seven from the 12. Ellinger, here comes a blitz. Ellinger reverses. Buys time. And Sam Ellinger. His back foot low and incomplete. Blacker in to attempt a field goal. This one from 29 yards away and offside. And not offside. Happy. Defense number 20. Ellinger. Fourth and two. Ellinger is a tank. Yeah, got to run it with Ellinger. Throws it out wide. Johnson cuts it back. Johnson. Touchdown, Texas. This one to add to that total, but that's the most in a three-game span in Texas football history. He's thrown three touchdown passes today against Alabama. First down to the 25. Here's the reverse. Davis with a blocker in front of him. A nice lane as he did your player. It's Foster who made the tackle. Personal foul. Illegal blindside block, offense number 79. Uh, the center, and he's peeling back, and he's going to come back, and he's going to block number 40. That's Iodelia Dayaway right there, back towards his own end zone, kind of. First down and 21. From the 14, Evans, the freshman. He's just backing TCU up, just mistake after mistake. After. Ball start. Offense number 56. Two or three just effort style penalties that you're not going to be able to avoid. Evans. Make that at their own 18 yard line. Texas with a chance to get off the field right now. Duggan. Drops it off in the flats. Barlow. And Brody Sandy punting from his own 11. Deshaun Jameson may get a shot here. This one angled toward the far side. Jamison allows it to go over his head, and it dies inside as a young man. First and 10 at the 23. And Ellinger fires incomplete. For more. Second and 10 at the 23. I love the video of Sam when he was a baby, and he knew what was going to happen back then. He said, I'm going to be the starting quarterback at the University of Texas over the middle. Jake Smith, he's got a nice weapon with him. Motions out of the backfield as a receiver. Ellinger, will he draw it here? No, he's going to throw it. Ellinger over the middle. Oh, and drop. Sides, and they go the opposite direction. You're going to get two crossing routes there, and you've got wide open space going that direction. He's going to run forever as, as far as he wants to. Maybe score on that play if he just catches it. The hands. That's right. Kuchewski, Spielman looking to return. Spielman makes the first man miss. Makes a second man miss and finally goes out of bounds. Clean here. First down of the 41 for Duggan. Here's Max. Backs up. 
thought about it. And will be tackled at the line. Which I think that'll pay off in the long run. Second and ten at the 41. Miller. Rough. Here's Duggan. Oh, and he's hit from behind. Loose ball. Texas says they have it. He is on the edge, and he's just going to get all the way around that tackle, and he's going to get to the football. A little bit of a sandwich there from the opposite side, and then they're able to recover it down below, and this defense has done a heck of a job with all the mistakes, with how long they've been. First down. Ingram in motion. Ellinger. All day to throw it. Now ducks it down to Ingram, and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And then they're sitting in zone. There was nowhere to go for Ellinger. Ellinger, play fake over the middle. Caught. Woodard. Especially An when eligible the player downfield. Offense number 70. Second down and 16. Ellinger. Underneath and incomplete. Well, because it all looks the same. Sam Ellinger. Dancing. Ingram makes a nice move after the catch, and he'll. Chevsky. Angling it toward the corner. Oh, what a beautiful kick as it dies at the, <laughs> at the seven yard line. What a weird, weird, strange time. Tell him I ain't got it. We live in. <laughs> I don't have it either. Here's the handoff to Foster. So you just have to overcome it and you can't react in a poor fashion. And that's what I think that these quarterbacks have to do. Second down and five. Just gonna react accordingly. Third down and two. Duggan looking for the first down. The chains. Big conversion there for TCU. First down, Horn Frogs. And the handoff. Eight. TCU. Duggan. Drops it off. Barber. First down. A quarterback run once again. Duggan, man, that nice. Duggan off his back foot down the sideline, and it is caught. Because this is terrific coverage by Deshaun Jameson and Conrad, who made that nice third down catch. Does he stay in? Wow. And he looks to be in rhythm here now. Starting the fourth. First and ten at the 14. Duggan over the middle. Comes it incomplete. Ability to force field goals once TCU has moved the football down. And Obershone just got a mid zone. Let's see if TCU can figure out the problem. And they run the reverse. Spielman. Found an opportunity to get a first down. Duggan. And he's knocked down in the back. And he's able to get right through. And then he's right there for Duggan. And brings him down in the batter of tackling the day than last week. That's certainly the case. And here's Kell, who had a big kickoff return, called back as he got it close to the goal line in the first half. Defense for the Longhorns, keeping them in it here in the fourth quarter. First down from the 25, and they'll run it straight ahead with Johnson. All he needed down 15. Remarkable comeback. Second and five at the 30. First down and more. Johnson. All the way down. Let's go back to that run here because it was just a huge hole over there on that right side and a great cut by Johnson. He's Ellinger looks all day. Dances. And just dumps. Hole made him pay and there Johnson makes him pay. Today. Second and ten at the 30. <laughs> Ellinger. Ooh. Great recognition and then closing speed, and they just don't get it blocked right. This Ellinger. And a strike inside the that monster third down catch. U19. Ellinger hands it off to Ingram. 
Trying to get to the edge. Ingram staying on his feet. Ingram. Shifted. Ingram busts through and was able to press the hole. See the push up front, and then he's not touched until he's way down the field. And First down and goal at the seven. Ellinger throws it up and incomplete. Advantage, you go to it, and they think that they have one here with Eagles, and this is just really good defense force. They're running. TCU runs a lot of man. That's where you would run a lot of crossing routes. Empty backfield for Ellinger. He may run it here. Four receivers at the bottom. Ellinger looking, thinking. Incomplete. And there was nowhere to go with the football. They try to run that empty set, and there's no. Sam Ellinger looking in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. The face of the safety, and he's trying to get right there, and he's able to do that, and then Ellinger gives him a really good ball. That's an act. Ellinger hands it off. Ingram leans. Half a play with a number of different mistakes and penalties. Longhorns lead at 29 to 26. First down to the 25 for the Horn Frogs. Play fake. Rolling out of the pocket. And Duggan finds his receiver, and it's Johnston. First down after the 14-yard pickup. And this one can capitalize with touchdowns. Second down. And Texas right. Third down and 11. At the 38. Duggan under pressure. Almost intercepted. Under extreme pressure. From guess who? Joseph Osai, and that's exactly what Chris Ash did. He runs the stunt to get Osai a free. Sandy will punt from his own 23. Sean Jamison at the 18. Oh, terrific punt by Sandy. Yards on just those four play alone is almost identical to the game that TCU's defense played a week ago against Iowa State. First down and 10 at the eight yard line. Ellinger runs the option. Keeps it. Picks it. Sam Ellinger looking over the middle. Caught but pins on the field with good field position. Huchewski punting from inside his own five. He gets it away. Still on the move down the sideline. Here we go. Next Saturday, if they win this, they can go into it undefeated. Now it's Foster. TCU will knock out all the white hats at the football as he's trying to get the edge and count them up. <laughs> They're Quentin Johnston at the bottom of your screen, number one. Duggan goes through his progressions, deflected. Johnston. Johnston breaks off his route, comes back, gets the ball, and now Duggan just sneaks on third down for the first down. Really smart sequence of what a game that was. Texas won it. First down at the 31. And it's Foster. Duggan with the quarterback run. Straight ahead. Maddox. Check out the eyes of the Texas linebacker as soon as Duggan catches the snap. Jayquist puts his eyes to the right. That opens up the entire lane in the middle of the field, and Duggan's got free reign to go to the end. Kell kicks it off. And out of the end zone. Let's check in with Jenny. They left us too much time. We're going to tie this thing up and win it in overtime. Let's see what he does today as he drops it off in the flats to his tight end. Ellinger looks the other way. Ingram. Thing and snaps Illegal it right away. Substitution on the defense. More than 11 players on the field. That was number 95, Terrell Cooper. And he. Sam Ellinger. He finds his receiver in the slot. Ingram spreading. Ingram tracked down at the 15. Tackle. It's just a little wheel route right out of the backfield. 
And Ellinger sees it right away. Another breakdown in coverage from TCU and another huge play here setting him up almost inside of three minutes. Texas runs it with Ingram. Stumbling it. He was reaching for it. Didn't look like he got there. At the one-yard line. Ingram, and this time he's hit and knocked backwards, and TCU says they fumble. Wow! Holy cow, what a play. Garrett Wallow, number 30, is the one that knocked Rolling it on out. The field is a fumble recovered by the defense. I expect some pressure here from Texas. Duggan hands it off to Barlow, and Barlow crosses the line of scrimmage. Duggan will take the snap out of his own end zone. Here's the handoff. Miller around the corner. And Miller nicely done. Player on the field. Duggan in the shotgun. Here's a reverse. Barber. First down, TCU. First down at their own 13. And they'll stay on the ground. Barlow. Foster. have to run this football. Third down and seven. And Foster tackles Texas out gets the to the end zone. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Duggan wants to eat up six seconds. Can he do it? He's running around, running around, running around. Now he steps out of the back of the end zone. No time. The result of the play is the safety. Holding on the offense. Penalty will be accepted half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. We'll have one on time down. We had a safety, which is a scoring play. Ten-yard penalties do not carry over. The safety will end the ball game. 